My name is Rhapsody, and if you haven't watched The Last Run yet, go watch that first, because I'm about to spoil how that goes. Five, four, three, holy shit! We unlocked the D6. Fucking finally! If you're unaware of what the D6 is, it is a use item that Isaac starts with. You do have to unlock it before he starts starting with it. You'll see it up there. Six room charge. But guess what? It allows you to re-roll items. Yeah. You can severely break the game doing this. I've done it a bunch of times in the original Binding of Isaac. And oh my god, is it ever a glorious feeling to just bend the game over your knee and spank it. It's brilliant. Also, we're on the cellar, of course, so we're going to be fighting the haunt in our first item room. Sorry, in our first boss room. So therefore, I want to find my first item room and pick up an item first, because I don't want to have to fight the haunt naked, because that's just going to be tragic. Oh, God. I don't even like this room. Do you know how much I like the haunt? Yeah. The, the only reason last time that we were able to kill the haunt so easily as a Zazzle is because we were playing as a Zazzle, which is the easiest character in the entire freaking video game. If you're like, oh, dude, Zazzle's my favorite character. He's not easy. He's really like, no, you're wrong. He might be your favorite character. Zazzle's like really fun, but he's not the highest skilled character. Not by a long shot. Maybe if you were wearing a blindfold and playing purely by sound. That would probably introduce the same level of challenge to playing a Zazzle as playing base Lazarus. I don't like Lazarus. <laughs> Not even slightly. Alright. My best friend. Not a great item. So what am I going to do with this? Uh, I'm going to look around, see if there is a tinted rock, and then use my best friend to blow up said tinted rock if it exists. If not, I'll just blow up as many rocks as I can to try and get that key. Excellent. Because my best friend acts as a bomb. A very large bomb, a Mr. Mega Bomb in, uh, in AoE, I believe. Now, before I re-roll that, I am going to go into the curse room, just in case there is an item pedestal in here that I want to use. Nope. Okay. So, the D6 allows you to a very small extent to tailor your run. Like, instead of having an item that I can't use from this floor, I now have an item that I can. Specifically, I have the, uh, <clears throat> the common cold, which is basically just an increase in DPS because it damages your enemies for you. Uh, I probably want to visit the shop, actually. I likely should have done that first, just in case I really wanted to re-roll the shot, but I probably won't. Mm. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that and get out of here. Excellent. Actually, that was probably worth it. Ooh, Duke of Flies. Perfect. But yeah, the common cold is basically an increase in DPS because it does a DOT. Damage over time. DPS being damage per second. Just for anyone that is not familiar with general gaming terms. A lot of people aren't. They just go by playing games and just miss a lot of standard gaming terminology. 50 DKP minus dragon kill points. Just in case anyone is missing that. I don't want anyone to have to run off to Urban Dictionary to feel like they can understand what's going on here. Okay, we... I don't like anything that's happening right now. Too many flies. I don't have enough uh, attack speed to kill all of the flies that he's spawning. Because this might be a champion version that spawns way more flies than normal. Maybe that's what it is. I think it's the champion version that spits more often than normal, but... It's got way too many fucking flies, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I don't feel good about how that went down, but... You know... It's okay, I guess. So, ideally, I want to fight five rooms before I go to the boss room on this floor. Why the boss room, Ryan? Why don't you want to fight five before you go to the item room? The item room you want to re-roll. No, I want to re-roll the devil deal. If possible. Uh, so I'll take that. Leo, I can stomp. 
So what I'm looking for with Leo is to get black markets, which are basically like de uh, deals with the devil that give you item room, sorry, shop room items. And you can unlock those by just stepping on random blocks, not tinted rocks. Tinted rocks don't usually have it. Don't, I, I, in fact, I'm pretty sure they can't. You just, it's random rocks have it. So you just gotta kill a lot of rocks. I remember when I started this game, I had the idea that you just had to step on every... You just had to kill every rock in every game so that you could get those. But sometimes it's just not viable. Uh, those pots, by the way, I've never encountered this, but I believe they can drop the, uh, the quarter, which is a pedestal item. So we could reroll that if we desperately needed to. Um... Ooh, luck up. That's pretty good. You can also walk through the spikes if you do it on just the right angle. Are oh, you wizard? It's horrible. But yeah, those um, those pots can have the quarter in them, which is a pedestal item that just straight up gives you 25 cents when you pick it up. Which can be pretty cool. I mean, it's way more than the six cents we got from that one. Uh, I'm going to have to wait out this. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself damaged while I try and kill them. The I are you wizard effect, I believe, takes a minute to go away. It's really annoying. Okay. I'm just trying to sneak shots into them while I'm out of their range. Excellent. They can also spawn spiders, of course. The uh, the pots, that is. Uh not interesting. Ooh. In fact, that um, that battery might be interesting at some point, and the only reason the battery would be interesting is because of the fact that it would allow me another reroll. But then the devil deal would have to stay open for me to be able to come back and actually use the battery, which is unlikely at the best of times. I knew that was going to happen. I fucking looked down into the goddamn corner of my screen because my friend started playing fucking Fallout New Vegas. Adrian, you piece of shit. You cost me that damage. I will throttle you next time we play Small World together. Adrian is a school friend of mine and we play board games together. Often. Not often enough just in case he ends up hearing this. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you're playing Fallout New Vegas. It's a grand game. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. Fallout New Vegas is fucking amazing, man. I think... So, I'm not a huge fan of RPGs. I don't make that particularly... Uh, well, most modern RPGs. I don't make that particularly secretive, right? I played... I think two hours of Oblivion before I decided I didn't like it at all, right? I, um, what else did I do? Oh, pin, this is gonna be easy as fuck. I, I played 30 minutes of Skyrim before I decided that there was no way I was ever gonna like that game. I played fucking, I think I played a tiny second of Morrowind. I know these are all from the same series, right? Like Mass Effect, I played a bit of, and I was like, nope, never gonna get into this game. There's just, Yo, a laundry list of recent RPGs that have come out that I'm like, no, I couldn't ever play that. The thing is, Fallout has that kind of uh, post-apocalyptic atmospheric environment that I absolutely adore, especially with like the anachronistic culture where it's like, it's like 50s culture stuck in time. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really good. And then the music is amazing. For some reason, it just grips me intensely. That is Speedball, so if I don't want to reroll anything in here, then I'll come out and reroll Speedball. Uh, if this gives me Lump of Coal, I'll just take it. If it doesn't give me Lump of Coal, then um, I'll cry my eyes out. Because Krampus's head is now uh, trash tier bullshit. Actually, if it gives me Krampus's head, I'm kind of okay with that, because I can reroll Krampus's head. And then I can go buy the um, battery from the shop and then re-roll. Okay. So, head of Krampus, I'll do six room charge, as I explained. Uh, excellent. Pentagram is damage up, and off the back of being a damage up, it is also a... 
uh, an increase in the chance to find Devil Deals. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go reroll the boss room item before I go back up there. So this is not going to be a boss rush, right? There's no... Unless I get a crazy item, then there's no way that I'm going to be fast enough to get to the boss rush. Instead... I mean, especially looking at my speed. Like, it takes me 40 fucking seconds to move across the screen. You think this is going to be a boss rush? Fuck no. Bitch. Um, I need more rocks to step on. That's what I need. Black hearts. Ah. Not going to step on that one, actually. Not at all. Uh, if there is a key in here, I'll buy it. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile. I could donate money to the donation machine until it gets up to 100 cents, but the thing is I've already unlocked what it unlocks at 100 cents. Um, it's just not currently at 100 cents because I bombed the shit out of it. Okay, we are behind the boss rush. We would have to speed up significantly, which is not going to happen. Dang it. Come down here. Damn it. Stand next to the TNT, you fucker. There you go. Boom. Go. Yeah. Excellent. I didn't want to actually have to deal with it myself. Uh, also, those TNTs can drop the matchstick trinket uh, when they blow up. So make sure to blow all of those up, even if they are not um, actively going to help you. Or even if they don't look like they're going to actively help you, because they possibly could give you a trinket. Right? And it doesn't matter if the trinket isn't going to help you, if you have, like, a really good trinket already. Because what if you get, like, re-roll everything on the floor? What if you get one of those rooms? And then you re-roll that and it becomes a soul heart, and then that soul heart is the one that uh, saves you. Eh? It's a long shot, but, you know, it doesn't take an incredible amount of your time. Might as well uh, sure up those tiny little percentage points that could win you the game. <laughs> Min-max like a pro. Of course, I'm not min-maxing like a pro because I'm shit at the fucking game. Um, and I'm not going to say I'm shit. I'm okay. I, uh, I, I'm just not good at dodging. <laughs> not good at not taking damage. Okay. Easy. I probably should not have stood next to him. Also, stepping over those shrooms is likely to get me, yep, blown up with a big... No reason to fight that. I, I, I still have, like, really low damage. Not base damage, because I do have the pentagram. Uh, but I... It's really low. Is this the second floor? No. Third floor. Shit, what did I get last floor? Stompy and... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I got a lot of health. I'm really healthy. Re like, I look really tanky. But, other than that, not... Re like, I, d I don't even have replenishment of my health. I just have a large stock of it. Monstro's Lung. Yes. Yes. Monstro's Lung. Boom. That's what Monstro's Lung does. I love it. I'm going to step over all of these. Because if I get the Magic Mushroom, then the game is basically over. The Magic Mushroom being an all stats up that you can get from mushrooms dying 48 hour energy is fucking crazy with um with the d6 if i was oh wait now i have something to re-roll excellent oh but that's the humbling bundle i want that okay humbling bundle means everything is one plus one uh i think that's a good one yeah lock up it means everything that drops is two of it right so if a if a penny drops it's gonna be two pennies right if a key drops, like the two keys you can see now, it's two keys. Yeah? You seeing how crazy this is? I got three extra keys from that room, and it only cost me 15 cents. And now I have the investment for the rest of the run. I would pay 15 cents for three keys, and now I still have that investment doing that bonus for the rest of the run. Being left without keys is, like, the worst. I uh, cannot re-roll this. If I re-roll it, it becomes either Bandage Boy... Bandage Boy, I mean. Either Bandage Girl or Meat Boy again. You can't actually get different items from the pool instead. Which is kind of saddening. Uh, 
I uh, looped that. Oh, dang it. Just trying to dipsy dangle the spider. Loop around the little block there. Do a bit of a ring around the rosy. Pocket pull of posies as well. Pocket pull. Mm hmm. Good work, right? Oh, man. It's kind of lame. Now I have nothing to reroll. Oh. Well. Yep, might as well leave. Okay, so I would need... I, I'm still keeping track of the things that I would need for me to end up in a boss rush scenario. I would need an incredible speed up. I would need a lot of damage up. That's about it. I wonder if Monstro's Lung plays nicely with uh, Brimstone. I have to suspect not. Oh my god. Uh, I want this to charge up faster or do more damage. Because I can't just tangentially hit things and have them die. And that's what I need to have. Damn it. Alright, so now I'm not getting a deal with the Devil Room. Spelunka Hat just means I'm going to be seeing secret rooms. You know what? I probably should have re-rolled Spelunka Hat, actually, to be completely honest with you. Yeah. See, I'd be hoping for Monstro's Long with at least a damage up to be obliterating those instantly, rather than me having to follow around and put another shot in. Please, Magic Mushroom, please, appear in my video game. Okay, I'm going to try and make this kill. Okay, I should be able to do this pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, if I don't take damage in this room, I still have an okay chance at getting a deal with the devil. Fucking hell. That's actually unlikely for me not to get a deal with the devil, because I still have like 30% plus to get a deal with the devil from the fact that I have the pentagram. And then I didn't take damage in the boss room, which is also a modifier up for that. Uh, yeah, that's actually okay. So Guppy's tail means that chests are more likely to drop at the end of rooms rather than, uh, you know, droppables. But the thing is, since I have Humble Bundle, I'm going to get enough droppables, so I'm going to have enough keys to open those chests, most often. And especially since I have decent luck up, I'll probably just be constantly getting things like that. Um, there are a lot of good pills in my rotation, so I don't want to take the... that one, the thing below me. Okay. Not worthwhile, anyway. Uh, yeah. Boss room, no chance. No boss rush. Not at all. My apologies, I had to quickly just leap over and mute the microphone. Uh, so that you wouldn't hear the sneezing. I don't know what it is. Why am I sneezing so much recently? Ugh. Is it the season? I, I don't even have hay fever. I'm not a horse. Ha ha ha. He says in an example of his horrible sense of humor. That's Bob's brain, which I'm not going to take because more often it deals damage to you than to your opponents. And at this point, I have to get near my opponents to hit them with my shotgun blast of Monstro. So there's no reason for me to want to do that. Get back here, you fucking pennies! Hmm? Okay... Oh, I'm a ding-dong! I have five cents, and a battery in the shop, and a fucking D6! And I'm like, mmm, Bob's brain, that is useless to me. I will just walk away now. The fuck is wrong with me? Did my brain just go on vacation? Come back from Costa fucking Rica or wherever you are, god dang it! Boom! Still shit! Literally! It's called flush. It's a toilet handle. When you use it in a room, you turn all of the opponents in that room, other than bosses, to shit. 
They become poops. Oh. Alright, come on. And slam! And welcome to the jam. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Holy shit, I might have enough combat rooms before the end of this floor to recharge the D6 again. Which would make my choice to uh, pick up the battery when I still had two charges left dumb. Look at this. Look at this shit. Raptor Pro Tips. Yeah. Got myself a, a, a heart. Yeah. Okay, get to the side so that I can't take damage from them because they shoot in diagonal directions. And then eternally save myself. Oh, wow. If I had have just explored the rest of the floor before picking up that battery, I would have had another reroll for flush. Or previously, Bob's rotten thoughts. Bob's explosive brain thoughts. It's called something else. Don't... Don't call it Bob's Rotten Explosive explosive Brain Thoughts. It's not exactly catchy. Dang it! Oh, I'm being a big old dingus in this game. Taking damage I don't need to. Losing opportunities. I'm costing myself this run. Okay. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Bob's rotten explosive brains. Why? Mom's Bob's rotten explosive brains. All right, get the fuck out of here, you, you god dang babies. Headless babies are completely fine by me. I have many on my mantle. Okay. I think... I think the only thing that saves me right now is, like, brimstone damage up. And it's weird to say that in a run, because that would save any run, right? It's kind of the best. Around, nothing ever gonna keep you down. Yeah, I just specifically wanted to kill that with the, um, <clears throat> with the power of the rotating bandage, which actually does a fuck ton of damage. Whoop. Okay, don't dash at me. I just want one of the bats dead so that I can safely maneuver around the other one, of course. As soon as I say safely maneuver around the other one, I'm gonna eat shit. Ah, excellent. Now we've got Bob's rotten head. In which he keeps Bob's rotten explosive brain. Oh, come on. Please die. Just as a courtesy to me. Five more rooms until I can re-roll Bob's rotten explosive brain thoughts. Hmm. Black Market would also be helpful in saving us here. Um, we don't exactly have many keys to give to the key vendor. Nor do we exactly have that many cents to give to a beggar. But, um, you yeah, know, we can, we can make do. Probably. Maybe. Probably not. I'm still surprised we haven't seen one yet with all of the rocks I've stamped. Hmm. Good dodging, Ryan. Um... If you were ever pulled up for the draft, you would definitely have to serve because your dodging is shit. Not exactly getting any benefit out of Spelunker's hat. That would have been a good reroll as well. Hope to get some damage from that or something. Mm -hmm. Clear everything. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's good keys. I'll take that. Wonder if across from here is anything I want to bomb into. So there's the money. That's pretty good. Um, I still have the boss room and Bob's Rotten Explosive Brain to think about. So I'm not really considering whether or not I want to keep the quarter there to re-roll later. Because I already have so many other things on this floor that need to be re-rolled first. That are actually useless to me. Whereas the quarter is somewhat useful. Maybe. At some point in the future. 
Have I taken red heart damage this floor? Because I'm about to take red heart damage this floor. Monstro's lung just means I have to put myself in such precarious situations. And since I don't exactly have a way of replenishing my health right now, that usually means that I take damage. Uh, that does not get reimbursed with any great speed. I would... I would... Oh, yeah, I, I would gladly re-roll this whole run right now if I was offered a 1 or a 6 dice room. Whoa! I would lose my d6, but I would also get a different item. No! Okay, Wheel of Fortune. I need to not take damage on this fight if I can avoid it. If I can avoid it. You know what? Even if I can't avoid it, I need to not take damage on this fight. Okay, this shouldn't be difficult unless I get hit with one of the bombs. Okay, so now I shouldn't be hit with one of the bombs, but he's going to move way faster than I will because I have speed down from Stompy fucking hell. Wow, the game took pity on me and gave me an angel room. Are you kidding me? I don't want your charity. I love your charity. <laughs> Holy Mantle means that I can be damaged once per room, and I'm not going to take that tick of damage. It's insane. That's, yeah, it's basically one of the best defensive items in the entire video game. It means that I have a lot more time to kind of slow burn out the game and see exactly um, how fucked I'm going to be. No, it means I have more time to slow burn out the game and uh, possibly get something that will salvage my run. Because killing Isaac like this is not going to happen. That's speed plus range up. You know what? We actually need the speed, so I'm going to take the Roid Rage. We kind of need the Rage as well. That might actually be worthwhile to... That might be surprisingly worthwhile. out of the way. <clears throat> I still can't believe that the angel room appeared. I know I have a pentagram which increases the chances for it to appear, but I took damage in the boss room, so the chances of that were actually pretty low. Because taking damage in the boss room counts as taking damage on the floor and in the boss room, obviously, because the boss room is in the floor. Dang it. Huh? I already have charging shots from... So... Yeah, does it just make them way more damaging? So it doesn't allow me to instantly fire them. I wonder if they just do a lot more damage, because Chocolate Milk lets you charge your shots, and they do more damage when they're charged up. But, uh... But since I have Monstro's Tooth, Monstro's Tooth, Monstro's Lung, I'm already charging my shots. I have to, to fire them. Hmm. I don't know how this works. But I'm willing to find out. I The only way I'm really going to like reliably figure out exactly how much damage I'm doing is to fight a boss and watch its health bar. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to find a boss, fight it, watch its health bar, and then enjoy as it decimates. Hopefully. Ooh. Look at... Look at all these tickings. Fucking love that vine. Vine video. If you don't know what it is, it's a tiny little girl looking really confused looking at a field of ducks. Just so many ducks. Just ducks everywhere. And then she turns to the camera and very seriously says, Look at all these chickens. And it's the cutest and funniest thing ever. And if you don't laugh at that, you have less of a soul than I do, which is surprising, because I sold mine 12 different times. I'm amazed that no one's come to repossess my soul. Ah, excellent. Just remove me from the room. That's nice. Thank you very much. Of course, I didn't take damage from that, because that's the first damage I would have taken this floor. Floor, that room. Okay, and bam. It looks like this is just a massive damage up, by the way the chocolate milk on the top of Monstro. Okay, open that. 
I'll open that as well. I'm looking for something like Cricket's Head, to be honest. Huge damage up, Cricket's Head. Not only because it's like, it gives you damage, but then it also gives you a damage multiplier. And that's interesting. Empress pretty good. Uh, I'll take the Empress over the Wheel of Fortune. That is the Mum's Heart boss- Mum's Heart. Mum's boss fight. So there's no reason I want to pick that up yet. Okay. Cephalus immediately destroyed. Yeah, it's definitely giving me more damage. Which I could not be more thrilled about. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, yeah. No reason not to pick that up unless I think I'm going to find a blood bank that I want to play. Uh, I actually probably should have held off in that case. Hmm. Come on. Just die. There we go. Excellent. Greed. Instantly dead. And look at all these chickens. This is the flat penny trinket that we currently have. Every single time we pick up a coin, we have a chance to spawn keys. So now, basically, our consumables are beyond reproach. We are not going to run out at any point, ever. Thank you, uh, fire extinguisher, alarm, ambulance. Ambulance! Fire ambulance? What the fuck are they called? Fire machine? Fire truck, fire truck! Holy fuck, how did I forget that word? Thank you, fire truck, for fucking up my recording just so that you could go around and save lives. How goddamn dare you? Selfish. Some people, I swear. Okay. No, okay, come on. Buddy, buddy your pal, friend, dude, guy, I, you need to just sacrifice yourself to me. It's the virus, I don't want it. That's penetrative shot, excellent. We're just gonna take that, and this is, are you a wizard, so I don't want it. Balls of steel, excellent. Excellent. Nothing else I want to reroll, I will... I will pick this up on my way out, just in case there's an item in the devil room or I want to re-roll whatever mum drops. But now I have penetrative shot with knockback, so this should be pretty good, yeah, at, um, at decimating crowds as well as mum herself. On, and there we go. Excellent. Easy. So... Of course, we don't end up getting, you know, a devil deal or an angel room. That's fine. I'm not offended. Kind of am. Probably should have taken the emperor with me. Oh, wait. I don't have flight. Why the fuck was I walking over those? Like, oh, yep, I have flight. I'm just going to walk over this creep. la di da di da God dang it. I'm gonna exit and re-enter this room so that I can step over the bomb rock without actually taking damage. This is all about finding a secret room. Well, secret room, a um a black market. Damn it! I haven't even found anything under those so far. I can't believe it. They're pretty common. Or at least they should be common enough to have found one by this time since I had Stompy since the second floor. Since I have Guppy's Tail, there's going to be a lot of uh, golden chests spawning at the end of things. I'm going to be opening all of those in hopes of uh, Infamy, I would be fine with. Uh, but Cricket's Head is what I'm really looking for. Range up. Good. Probably not worth my time. I love when there's huge crowds of tanky enemies like this and you can just cut through them with your incredibly powerful. Um No. That's only gonna open one room for me. So I'll take this. Cricket's head is the damage up I was looking for. 
Excellent. Nine lives. So that's our second thing to becoming Guppy. Now we only need one more Guppy item, and that's actually not too unlikely, especially if we want to go to the dark room rather than up to fight Isaac. Because the dark room gives you four red chests as soon as you get there. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I feel pretty good about this. I have started to feel pretty good about this again. Again, what did I say? I wanted a huge speed up, which look at the fucking speed I'm moving at, right? I'm basically moving at the speed of fucking light. Uh, and I also wanted a huge damage up. I didn't get it in time to go to the boss rush mode, but I did get it in time to win the video game. So, there's Infamy, the other item that I was asking for from those red chests. Now, I will actually take the time to go down here and pop this open. Yeah. I was looking for a red chest specifically with, uh, like, Guppy's head or Guppy's paw in it. Ooh, this is going to give me a deal with the devil item after I kill them. Uh, instead of getting a standard boss uh, room pool item, you get a deal with the devil item. Okay. I'll figure out if I want to re-roll that later. I want both of these. Which do I want more? Well... <sighs> The thing is, I think Brimstone is actually worse. I think the fact that we have a barrage of tears like this is actually better than having Brimstone right now because they are synergizing well with uh, Chocolate Milk and I don't know how Brimstone synergizes with it. So I'm going to take the Mark as damage up. Okay. And then I'll come back and re-roll that. So I'll actually finish another room and then come back and re-roll that. Because all that is, is a black heart. And then um, when you take damage down to um, half a heart, you get another... You, I, I, I th actually, I think it's a Necronomicon charge after that. So it's kind of really bad. Halo. Yeah. It's all stats up. So that's more damage as well. Now, I'm going to go pick up the battery that spawned. You know, the interesting thing is I should probably actually complete the floor. Just for the fact that red chests spawn. And if the right red chest spawns, I will become guppy and then the game is not difficult at all, ever. At the moment, it's not that difficult. But it could be easier. Could always be easier. Excellent. Was that seriously the end of the f- Aww, come on. I want to be Guppy. Dang it. The, uh, if there is a deal with the devil next floor, it's only going to lead down to Sheol, right? It won't actually have items in it, so... Yeah. Pulse Worm, not worth my time. It actually, probably is. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. That's what Pulse Worm is doing. So, another reason why I wouldn't want to take Brimstone is the fact that Brimstone will make my tears look less hilarious. Th right now, they look like that. Yeah, they are throbbing pencil dicks flying through the air. It's excellent. Oh no, guys, we missed 420 by 9 minutes, so 9 minutes ago, you need to light up a blunt. Oh man. Bye bye, Dingle. Bye bye, Dingle the second. Bye bye, Mini Dingle. It was nice knowing each and every one of you. Again, not even taking damage in this room, I love it. Ooh, yes. See? I love it! This is okay. This is way more powerful than Brimstone would have been. I'm now okay with saying definitely way more powerful than it would have been if I'd picked up Brimstone. If that's re-roll your whole run, I'm not even going to consider it. So glad it wasn't. Might have re-rolled my floor, though, actually. Uh, uh, uh. 
I think Pulse Worm, for some reason right now, is a massive damage up. It usually, I think, can be a damage up because it pulses the size of your tiers, and if it hits at the point that they are large, I believe it does more damage. But right now, it just appears to be straight up more damage. Oh my god. This floor. This run. This game. This life. This American life. This is it. I'm trying to think of more titles to things that starts with this. That's basically all I could do, unfortunately. Not that creative. That was two. Count them. Two. Oh, man. I can't even get anything from that. I should have re-rolled it. Oh, my... Man. Not a smart one. Okay, and... If you're wondering how that guy got charmed... Uh, ooh. Oh, my God. Nah, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Reroll it. That's Lockfoot. I'll come back for you, maybe. Okay, I'm going to leave the floor after this, so I will just pick up Luckfoot. You win this time, Luckfoot. I do like Luck Up, because it means that at the end of every room, with uh, Guppy's tail, by the way, I'm going to either get an incredible amount of items, um, or I will get a chest. And I'll be able to open the chest, or use the items to open the chest. Okay, um... Yeah, I have the negative, so I'm going down to fight Shield. So that I can get to the dark room. I believe I've already conquered the dark room with um, with Isaac here. Damn it. I was really hoping that I would get a guppy item there. It wasn't a far... You know, it wasn't too unlikely. I can see forever. Hey, the secret rooms are now open. Maybe I find a guppy item in one of those. I mean, I could already see the secret rooms, thanks to this Belunkus hat. It's just often I ignored them. Okay. Help up. Bomb's a key. Nah. Not really that. <clears throat> Ooh. Reroll. Box of spiders. I will keep you here as a pedestal to reroll again later. Excellent. Uh, those, by the way, headless, not headless babies, but soldier babies or, you know, the babies that you can only hit from behind, they are immune for like two seconds when a room opens. It's weird as fuck. They're just randomly immune for basically no reason. Okay. See? The tears traveled straight through it and it was like, yeah, no, what of it, buddy? You think you hit me? No. No, seriously. Dude. Lock up. Lemon party. I want to take an Empress card with me, use it to fight Satan. Do I want to use it to fight Satan? I kind of want to use an I Can See Forever next floor. But I still do have Spelunker's hat. I guess there's no reason to drag down an I Can See Forever if I have the opportunity to play better without having to do so. Oh, whoops. I forgot that I got a charge ready. All right, let's go back and re-roll the box of spiders and get... Law. That's uh, speed down, health up. But since I am already at the health cap, there's no reason for me to take it. Unless I really want my health to be red health instead of soul hearts, and there's no reason for me to want that now. Okay. Another thing to re-roll. Satan's going to be easy. Five, four... Three, two, go. Okay. First. And then... Oh. Really? Not dead yet? Thought that was going to be very instantly dead. Five, four, three. Okay. I tried to count that out and it did work. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just continue going down. Fuck it, man. We're already powerful enough to take on Darkroom. Do, 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 do. Yes! Final fucking copy on them! We are guppy now. Um, this game has been officially bent over our knee. All thanks to you. 
Desix. Yeah, butt bombs are okay. Dose of steel. Lemon party. It's another balls of steel. I found pills. No reason not to use that. Lemon party. No reason not to use that. Empress. I'll keep in mind that... Yeah, look. I don't even fucking know where all those goddamn flies came from. But they're there. They're there now. The fuck? What even is going on? I don't, no, I'm, I'm just going to continue re-rolling until I get the best item in the game right now. Polyphemus. Uh, that's Trail of Tears. Polyphemus, by the way. Polyphemus, whatever. Yeah, it's different names. Uh, I believe that's the stats up, right? Libra. No, you just get... Um... Excuse me? The fuck? What the, what the hell was the first shot? Did any... Did anyone else see that? My tears were going crazy, y'all. And now they're going less crazy. <laughs> Anti-grab tears? No. Not a chance. That would likely ruin my run. I've never seen a synergy with anti-grab tears that I've enjoyed. And just because I... Wow, that really should have been... Uh, an item. All of the... N no, maybe only in certain rooms. But yeah, all of the items around here should be... <clears throat> all of the chests around here should be directly opening into items. Kind of like on the chest. Okay, and... This is taking way longer than I thought it would. I mean... We're not really going to take any damage. But it's still taking longer than I thought it would. Oh yeah! Achievement! Thank you, Holy Mantle, for ensuring an achievement. We've seen this end before. Dead Boy has been achieved. Which is to defeat the chest or the dark room without taking any damage. Of course, you might have noticed we did take damage, but the Holy Mantle blocked it. We're back at the title screen so that I can say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We just used Isaac with the D6 for our very first run, at the very least on camera. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below. If you miss an episode or if you want to watch another one, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. We will see you next time.